Boy, uh, my name is Major Slack, and welcome back to the Major Slack Attack here for a start for titillating tactile Tamriel gameplay. And this is the continuing adventures of Lux, Iron Breast, and the Death Squad. And this is a spotlight video, a special um, follower spotlight video on Teldrin Sarah. Okay, this is going to kick off a series of what I'm going to call spotlight videos on followers. All right. And currently, for the Death Squad, um, Lux, Iron Breast, this is Lux, Iron Breast, okay, captain of the Death Squad. This over here is one of the founding members of the Death Squad, Mercurio, whom we acquired in Riften. Okay, you can hire Mercurio. Anybody can hire Mercurio in Riften for 500 gold. Now, it seems that every time we speak to Mercurio, he instantly takes a potion of Fortified Bitch and says something like this. I am an apprentice wizard, not a pack mule. Oh, very well, but make it quick. <laughs> or... Something I'll like this. Here, then. Hmm? Try not to walk into any spike-filled pits or filthy skeever dens. Or something like this. What do you need? Don't make me wait too long. I get bored very easily. See, like I said, potion of fortified bitch. Yeah, and we've been listening to this for 39 levels. And I think we're about done. Right, Mercurial? Yeah, we're done with you. Yes. We're done with it. So, um, give me all your stuff. I am an apprentice wizard. Not a pack mule. Hey, guess what? You're an out-of-work apprentice mm -hmm. wizard, okay? Ta-ta now. So, you think you can make it on your own, then? We'll just see about that. We will. We will, indeed. Okay, and we are going to hire a new follower called Teldrin Serral. Teldrin Serral is found in Soul's Time, okay? And if you're running a Conjuration Mage, or if you're running any kind of build, like, you know, like a squad build, like I have here, the Death Squad, or any kind of like army build where you like to have an army of followers or, you know, um, this guy, Teldrin Serral, I believe is the best follower for you. All right. Um, let's go meet him. He's in Soul's Time. You require the Dragonborn DLC or the uh, Skyrim Remastered slash um, Skyrim Special Edition. That's what it's officially known as, which is a... Uh, an amalgamum You're looking for of all the Probably DLCs that yellow. Skyrim has, okay? So, fast travel to Solstheim, okay? You could do this at any level. I'm going to show you that you can do this at level 1. If you got the money, okay? Fast travel to Solstheim. And we're looking for the Retching Netch. It's this place right here. It's the local bar and grill in Solstheim. Okay, the Retching Netch. Go in there. And always sitting over here is... Teldrin Serro, Blade for Hire. That's right. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Okay, and how much coin? The best swordsman in all Morrowind is at your service. I okay, now pretty much office. ignore that, because he's more of a destruction slash conjuration guy, which is great. So we're going to hire him. Then let's be off. All right, now, what are his right attributes? First of all, he's found in the Wretching Netch. Like I said, you can hire him for 500 gold. He's available at level 1. Let me just demonstrate this here, okay? Alright, here's my level 1 warrior orc. Tombstone pile driver. Alright, there you go. Tombstone pile driver. Level 1. Here we are at Whiterun Stables. Haven't done anything in the game at all, pretty much, you know? Look, the, the landscape is pretty much empty. Just to show you that anybody can get this guy. I can take you to any of the hold. As long as you have the Dragonborn DLC or um, Skyrim Special Edition. All right, so any level, hire the carriage to go to Windhelm. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. Now you're going to need 750 gold to pull this off. All right, you're going to need 250 gold to hire the boat to Solstein. And you're going to need 500 gold, obviously, to hire um, Teldrin. So once you get to Windhelm Stables, go east. There's the Windhelm Docks. That's where you want to go right there, okay? Quickest way to get there is just run there. Run east down this road. And there you can see them right there. See those boats there? That's Windhelm Docks. Go between these two boats here, jump in the water, go for a little swim, 
and you find these stairs leading right, right up into the, the docks here. Jump to this boat on the left here, on the right, sorry. What did I say, left? Yeah, that's right, left. Uh, my other left. Passage, Talk to this guy, Yalin Salt Sage, and ask him the how much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. And after a bit of uh, yakking, you you'll be given the option to pay him 250 gold to take the boat to Solstein. Um, you've got yourself a ship. We'll cast off immediately. Do that. Talk to Captain Galland if you're looking to... The boat will take you to the island of Solstein and drop you off at Raven Rock, the main city of Solstein. And after being greeted by the mayor, you. so I'll assume that's the kind of attitude that's going to land El Tell him to stuff it. If you're running past him. Hang a left here, and like I said earlier, find the wretching Netch. Councillor Morve. And you can see by the low screen that Your this is indeed level one. And there he is. Teldrin Cerro. Teldrin you got the gold, you can hire him. Then let's be off. There you go. Level one. You can have this guy. No problem. Right behind you. Let's be off. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. There you go. Alright, who is Teldrin Cerro? He's basically um, a spell sword. That's what he, he's officially known as. Okay, he's a spell sword. He levels up to a maximum level of 60. It's not infinite like a few other um, followers, but he will level up to uh, 60. And he's, his primary skills are one handed, light armor, destruction, and conjuration. Okay, we could check out all his skill levels right now by just going into the console. I don't know if. Um, I don't believe that any of you guys on Xbox or PlayStation can use console commands. This is just a PC thing. Um, to get the Skyrim console, just press the tilde button. That's right below the escape button on your TV, on your keyboard, okay? Top left corner, and you get the Skyrim console, and you get to type in special commands. Once you get the Skyrim console up and running, okay, you select this little dark area that pops up like that. Click on Teldrin Serral, okay, and you get his special ID number. And you can get um, all the values of whatever skill you want. So his primary skills are supposed to be one-handed, light armor, destruction, and conjuration. Let's find out what level his one-handed skill is at now. Okay, we're at level 39. I should have did this with a level 1 character. In fact, let's do that right now. Okay, back to our level 1 orc, okay? We just finished hiring Teldrin Cerro. Let's check out his stats. Once again, his primary skills are one-handed, light armor, destruction, and conjuration. Let's bring up the console and click on him to get his ID. We already have his ID. That number right there is a special um, character ID. And we'll type in the code G-E-A-G-E-T-A-V, okay? G -E -T -A -V, and one-handed, all one word. There we go. You can see that his one-handed skill is at 33. Let's type in light armor. Light armor at 38. Uh, destruction. Destruction at 43. And finally, Conjuration. Conjuration at 27. These are all his primary skills that will level up as you play along with him, okay? Now, let's go back to Lux Ironbreast and check out um, the levels of the skills, because Lux Ironbreast is at level 39. Okay, so here we are back with Lux Ironbreast. Okay, and our level is level 39. Okay, now remember that his light armor skill was a lot lower when we first acquired him with uh, the orc, right? The level 1 orc. Now let's check out his light armor skill. And you can see that. Maybe just repeat the uh, console command I just put there. There we go. His light armor skill is at 96. A whopping 96. Let's check out some other skills. One handed. 91. Destruction. 100. 
conjuration. These are all his primary skills. 66, okay? So those are all his primary skills to get higher and higher, the higher level you acquire this guy at, okay? So that is that. Um, perks. He has the Adept Destruction perk. That doesn't really make much difference because he never really seems to run out of magic. He has the Atromancy perk. This is very important. This is perfect for Death Squad. This is in the Conjuration skill tree. The Atromancy perk. Atromancy perk. All Atronachs deployed by him will last two minutes instead of one minute. All right. Um, he has the Augmented Flames perk in the Destruction skill tree, rank 1. That means that uh, Fire Spells will do 25% more damage. Also, he has several perks in the Light Armor skill tree. So he's well suited to Light Armor. Unlike Mercurio, who didn't have any perks in either Light Armor or Heavy Armor, so we loaded him up with Heavy Armor and that gave him um, you know, a better armor rating. But this guy actually does better with light armor because he specializes in light armor, okay? You just saw that he has a light armor skill of 96 compared to our 71. And he has the first three ranks of Agile Defender, okay? So he has 60% better armor rating. And he also has the Custom Fit perk, which gives another 25% armor burn bonus if he's wearing all light armor. Alright? And I'm going to demonstrate that in the next video. Um... One-handed, he has perks in one-handed as well. I'm not really that excited about that because I want to use him primarily as a destruction follower, okay? He has three perks in armsman, which means 60% more damage with one-handed weapons. He has the fighting stance perk, which doesn't really make much difference because followers don't really run out of stamina that often. And um, he has, he specializes in swords, so he has one perk in one perk point in Bladesman, which means attacks with swords have a 10% chance of doing critical hit damage. All right, so he's basically a he's a spell sword. That's what he is. So that's all his perks. And the best thing about him, okay, this is you know the piece piece de resistance. The best thing about him is every single time you go into combat. He deploys a flame atronach because he knows the flame atronach spell without fail. Okay, without fail. Let's take him into combat right now and I'll show you. This is the best thing about this guy. I should have hired this guy right from the get go. Okay, let's put on Lux's uh, combat gear. We'll get back to Skyrim, take him into a giant's camp, and see how he handles under pressure. Okay, here's the new death squad at Fort Greymore. Fort Greymore and. There's a giant's camp right here that we were meant to go to before, and we never went there. Secundus Kiss, let's take. I'm glad that I'm finally new guy. traveling with someone who seems competent. My last patron was killed trying to tackle an entire fort of bandits alone. I love his attitude. Very even tempered. Bitch level is low. Now we may run into a dragon, so this would be a good test as well. On the way here. Yeah, slack all up, did slack all up. Okay. Check it out. See that? See that? Instantly deploys a flame astronaut. Doesn't waste time. Doesn't waste time. So let's deploy our flame or storm astronaut. And now we got a kick butt death squad. He's dead already? The hell? Let me check something here. Settings, gameplay. Yeah, we're indeed on legendary. Okay. That dragon must have been injured or something. Okay, let's take him into the giant's camp. Yeah, see that? Instantly deploys a flame atronach. Let's test it again. We'll wait. Wait an hour. Get rid of our atronachs, okay? Reset to zero. Okay, here we go into combat. Oh yeah. What's our next move? Let's take away all those weapons here. If it'll help us get moving. Yeah, take away this. Sure. Take away this. Leave him with just that. There we go. 
attack this giant. Instant flame atronach. I love it. Let's deploy our storm atronach. There is one thing though. Storm atronachs and flame atronachs are kind of like natural enemies. They can damage one another. So often his flame atronach will go hostile, eh? So you gotta watch out for that. I'm probably gonna switch over to a, a flame atronach myself so we'll get along nice. But yeah, this is great. It's only one thing though. He'll basically only deploy one flame atronach per battle. So once it gets whacked, as I think it just did, that's it. You have to wait until you get into another battle. And as you can see, his uh, light armor isn't really that good now, but we're going to make it a lot better. Let's try that again. Reload. Where are you, Teldrin? Make sure you take away his sword and his uh, dagger. Attack someone. Instant flame atronach. Pretty much every time. Without fail. So this is a perfect candidate for a, for a squad build. Or any kind of like atronach build where you're using atronachs all the time. Let's try it somewhere else. Let's go into Fort, Fort Greymore. Okay, children, we're at Fort Greymore. Not giants. Instant flame atronaut. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. This is great. This is the new, the new death squad. Okay, but there is there is some drawbacks, and we're gonna work around that next video. Let's reload. Get back into non-combat situations. Stand down there, children. Come with me. I'm gonna demonstrate something. Got another dragon. What the hell? Yeah, let's go to uh, White Run. No dragons there. Alright, in White Run, safe from dragons. Come here, Teldrin. Teldrin is wearing Chitin armor. This is a special kind of armor that was added by the Dragonborn DLC. It's a light armor. Actually, it could be light or heavy. He wears the light version and because he specializes in light armor. And if you try to give him any other kind of armor, light or heavy, there is one glitch about him. I don't know if it's a glitch or if this is the way he's specially designed. But the bottom line is he absolutely refuses to wear the helmet. Okay, no matter what you give him, he absolutely What did I do? I just dropped all the stuff. I meant to give it to him. What's our next move? Let's trade something with you. You don't have any, you know... If it'll help us get moving quicker. Qualms about being a pack meal, right? Okay, you're good. Okay. Okay. Armor. Give him all this. Okay, give him all this orcish armor, which isn't really his style. And as you can see, he only equipped the boots and the gauntlets. You can get him to equip the armor, if you're giving him heavy armor, by simply fast traveling somewhere. This is really weird. So right now, he's only equipped right the orcish gauntlets and the boots, as you can see. Let's fast travel to Whiterun Stables. Discover this after uh, considerable testing. This is really weird. Just fast travel somewhere, and he will equip... The armor. Where are you, children? There you go. See, so equip the armor. But he will never, ever equip any helmet you give him, no matter what. Even if you give him a chitin helmet and you improve it, which I tried. Okay, that's a chitin helmet he's wearing. I tried creating a a chitin helmet, or like buying one, and then improved it to legendary. He absolutely refused to wear it. So no matter what, he's only going to wear armor, gauntlets, and boots. So that's a bit of a drawback, but that's okay. You can still get his armor rating um, over the armor cap, no problem, right? So let's just take a look here. 
If it'll help us get moving. Quick. See, there he's equipped the armor, the boots, and the gauntlets, but absolutely refuses to equip the helmet. So I don't know what is special about that helmet. If even if you give him the exact same helmet and prove it to legendary, he will not equip it. So that's that. So that is pretty much it. That's the overview. That's like my little spotlight on Teldrin Sero. This is going to be the new um, partner in my death build or my death squad build. Uh, and in case you're not watching that walkthrough, check it out. I've been running a complete walkthrough with Lux Ironbreast and the death squad. It's kind of like a conjuration squad build. All right. So this is the new addition. Next video, we're going to make a whole bunch of improvements to his armor. Okay, we're going to give him some new glass armor, and we're going to improve it, and um, give him some special enchantments to make him kind of, you know, immune to friendly fire. Huh. 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 Yeah, <laughs> that's it for this video. That is Teldrin Sero. Okay, Spotlight is Tel Teldrin Sero. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, don't forget to give me a like, fave, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, see you next video.